welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here with the Bug 6. We're going to try a little bit of flying. We've got the FPV recording, I think. And uh, so anyways, I'm going to try to unlock and take this up a little bit. Uh, I'm not so good at this piloting stuff. Alrighty, so that was uh, that was my first attempt. This is not the spark, uh, but I am getting the feel for it. So uh, I'm gonna lock this. Okay, we're gonna give this a second go, and so I'm gonna do the unlock. And I think I've got video running. I'm going to try to take it up and see if I can't get it trimmed out a little bit. There we go. That's doing a little bit better. You know, without the altitude hold, you sort of have to fly it. Yeah, you have to sort of fly it a little bit. So taking the hang of this. She goes up quick. She definitely goes up quick. She got she got a good punch for a cheap quad. And we flipped it around. The one thing you kind of got to get used to, especially after just flying the Spark, is uh, the braking. So that's actually not too bad. I, I'm, I'm a little bit impressed. This is this is doing better than the SEMA X8 did. I got to watch I don't run into myself with it, though. And... And... Uh, I'm going to land it. There's a van coming out over there, so I'm going to wait till he passes. And, uh... I'm not sure what he's going to do. Okay. And so bring it back. I'm trying not to run it into myself. There's no braking on this. This is the thing. You have to brake it yourself. Whoa! Whoa! That was, uh... Let's see how that did. That came in hard. Ah, no broken props! Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm suitably impressed. Let's, uh... I got an airplane coming over, so I'm going to wait here a second. So I'm going to try one more practice attempt here. So I, I think part of, part of the situation is I, I'm still pretty close to my car, and I've got the Black River spillway behind me. And, uh, you know, so I'm trying to fly it out that way and kind of uh, figure it out. So I don't know if that's recording or not. Let's give it another shot taking it up. I'm going to practice hovering it a little bit. Yeah, I definitely don't want to run that into myself. That would hurt. You know, I de definitely flying like this. I can appreciate Sharpu, Mr. Steel, and all those guys. Um... I do wish it had altitude hold. That's the one thing that would make flying this a little bit easier. Instead of having to really focus on the altitude. But uh, this one holds actually pretty good. 
I'm trying to trim it out a little bit. It's, uh, whoo, this bad boy is responsive. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get the hang of this right now. And, uh, trying to back it up just gingerly. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I definitely wouldn't recommend this as a first, uh, First FPV, I, I think a smaller one would be better. These these brushless motors are pretty aggressive. I, I tell you what, for 120 bucks, I think this is a pretty capable little entry level quad. Um, and again, pretty stable too. I mean, no altitude hold on it, but uh, it's holding in there. I got it trimmed out. I think pretty good. You know, there is a bit of a breeze. I got probably a three to four mile an hour gusting breeze. So it is uh, drifting a little bit, but uh, you know, so that's affecting it. Yeah, it's uh, it's wanting to drift. Whoa, we crashed it again. I'll tell you what, this is sure, sure it's not like the spark. Trying to get the motors. Getting this to, un getting this to relock is pretty difficult because I'm holding it so I, I was able to grab it upside down. But uh, this isn't locking. Because I'm, I'm holding a long press. So this should, this should be turning off. I don't know if I turn off the... So turning off the controller causes it to, to turn off. I want to give it one more quick shot. I don't know if... Uh, I might have lost video on that but again that took another pretty good beating crash and uh, it's still pretty good shape um, Yeah, I'm trying to keep it, um, yeah, you, you pretty much have to have a big area to fly this guy, uh, cause that's one of the, I think one of the problems, cause I'm trying to avoid hitting my car too. I don't want to have to explain to the insurance company how I hit my car with a drone. And, uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an experience. I definitely, something, uh, the SEMA, the X, X5 size, I think is a better, uh, learning drone. But I tell you what, as a step up, uh, these brushless motors really kick off a lot of power. And, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. It dips quite a bit. It dips quite a bit when you, uh, when you go to, when you go to rocket. But I gotta, I gotta see something. Well, let me, let me bring it back this way. Because there's really almost no braking on this. Let me bring it back. All 
right, we got a flip. We got a flip. It holds true to its promise of the old man's FPV club. A one button flip. Okay, I'm going to try to get it settled in here. All right, we got another flip out of it. Whoa, let's set her down. So we got a couple flips out of it. Flips do work. That is actually pretty cool. Don't know if we caught video on the, uh, I think it's easier to just turn the remote controller off to disconnect from this guy. So hey, uh, we got flips out of this guy. So too cool. So we got flips out of the uh, Bug 6. Just trying to think how to get turned. I have to go clean it home. Clean it off when I get home. Uh, she got a little dusty. Took a few spills. But still all together, she did flips. Hey, what more can you ask for? This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm excited to learn to fly this a little bit more. So, hey, don't forget to pound that thumbs up button below. I'll have links to this also below. Thanks to Banggood again for sending this out to the Old Man's FPV Club. And let me know what you're thinking about for lunch, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.